everyone, this is Ava from avawaits.com and I'm here to help you feed the source of your success. Right now, I spent most of the afternoon in the garden and I'm taking uh, just some time to rest. So I always think that it's really important to connect to nature and one of the ways that I do that is getting outside and being barefoot. So I've been here in this wonderful, cute little clearing surrounded by bugs yes yeah yeah there are there are always bugs when you connect with the nature and really just work to align yourself with the natural world and i was out here doing some yoga poses doing some stretching having a picnic uh, prepping for a coaching call with my own coach which is about to happen soon and as i was walking around i was also picking some blackberries and Thinking back to some things that I had been recently reading about wealth and prosperity and how you can have just the most amazing health. And I remember one of the things was talking about how nature gives lavishly. Like when I was walking around just seeing all the blackberries, it's like there are too many. I can't even eat them all. I will never be able to eat them all. And really all the animals and all the humans will not be able to consume the amount of blackberries that are coming out this year. And as I was walking around looking at this and looking at just the thick foliage and the grass underneath me and just seeing just the large amount of everything, it really did remind me that nature supplies us lavishly. And the funny thing, so uh, most recently I have started to started to really connect to the idea of owning a car again. I have actually not owned a car for about eight years. Long time, right? I've lived, you know, in the middle of the city. I've had ways to get around. And so I've been thinking about owning a car again and it's been something coming up. And as I was sitting here in this clearing, it's, it's near a driveway and there are multiple homes on the driveway. And I was sitting here having my picnic and prepping and everything. And then this car drove by and and then another car, and then another car, and another car, and another car. And I'm serious that I, like seven cars drove by. And for me, sitting over here, it's kind of a dusty driveway. So for a minute, I was just a little perturbed that all of this dust was being flown up in the air. And I also wondered, like, why, why down a residential driveway would all of a sudden seven cars be following each other out of the driveway maybe it was a party maybe someone was doing something I don't really know what it was and it made me think back to that idea of nature provides lavishly and I had to laugh for a minute because I realized that like that was the universe mirroring back to me like oh you're thinking about wanting you want a car now maybe you want a car we're gonna we're gonna have this whole whole row of cars just drive in front of you and it's going to really stand out and it's going to get your attention so it really it, it did it got my attention so as you're going through your life and your business and looking at your health I want you to remember that nature does provide lavishly and those cars even though they are man-made they did come from nature so nature provides lavishly in a lot of ways and really just the universe as a whole provides to you very lavishly and sometimes if you feel like you're not really getting what you have what you desire not really letting it in sometimes you've just put up a block there and i want you to remember that really like the natural world around you is always giving you things the universe is always giving you things and it's just about letting go of that block and letting that flow come into you and really being accepting and accept it with joy even if it's a man-made object that came from the natural world or if it is something like this beautiful nook that i'm hanging out in right now so nature provides to you very lavishly and uh, it's my wish that you'll really start to see that and experience that throughout the next week i'll talk to you soon bye